Hello and welcome back to Art in Eswatini. We know that recently there has been an uprising, big uprising against the racism, police brutality, discrimination in not only America but the whole world and we have a project based on that. So people have been going out and letting their voice be heard and our project today is called Let Your Face Have a Voice. So whatever you're wanting to speak out about, whether it be um, about Black Lives Matter, whether it be about um, environmental issues, whether it be about um, caring for each other and celebrating our humanity, our project is going to be based on a self-portrait. In your artwork, you may want to work with symbolism or metaphors. In Eswatini, when it is dry and dusty and everything looks lifeless, the aloe, or in Tlaba as it is known here, bursts into flaming red and orange torches. Similarly, in a cold, harsh, negative environment, we should burst into flames of kindness, compassion and care, lighting the fire of our common humanity. Hopefully you've taken some time to think of some symbolism that you can add to your artwork because it can really add a little punch and just make your artwork so much more meaningful. After you've done that, you're ready for your first step, which is choosing or taking the picture of yourself or someone else that you want to do and printing it out in black and white. This is the picture I'm going to be doing. Crop your picture according to how big you want it to be. Now change the colour to black and white, then print it. Pick someone who's really meaningful to you and has a big impact on you or alternatively, you can do a self-portrait. If you're using a picture of yourself, follow the exact same steps. Crop it if you need to, turn it into black and white. And print it. Now you're ready to start the next part of your project. For this project, we're going to be working on the brown side of a cereal box. Simply cut out the size canvas you want, the bigger the better, because then you have more space to work on. There are two ways that you can transfer your portrait to your cardboard. You can either draw it out manually and you can use the grid method for this to make sure you get it all in proportion or you can simply cut it out and stick it onto your piece of paper which is the much easier method. Now that you've got your portrait on your cardboard you can start putting down your newsprint. Either tear it up into little pieces or cut it up and then use a glue stick to stick it down or you can do what we did and mix some craft glue with some water and use a paintbrush to put that down. You'll see now how the black and white photograph is really helpful because you can see the different areas of light and dark and paste down your pieces of newspaper according to that. Try and add deeper meaning to your artwork by adding images that have to do with your theme or you can also cut up words or different letters to spell something. Just try and add in that symbolism 